Hi, thanks for joining in. This is Tim, Shakahasi Bros, Porsche Pros out here in the garage. Now I have something I want to uh, cover today. This isn't necessarily a technical issue on uh, parts and pieces and maintenance and things like that, but basically, um, for some reason, it came to my mind about the uh, Porsche design of the 944 and other Porsches. Um, do have this because I, I, I checked a few things out that are interchangeable. Essentially, <clears throat> what I'm going to talk about is uh, related to the actual design. It's called the Golden Section. Golden Section is a, a fairly classic way of designing um, based on what has been found in nature as far as repeated patterns. They say that, you know, the man's mankind's mind basically looks for patterns and feels comfortable with patterns when things get out of that thing that's not as uh, good in some way or another. So basically because I'm an architect, I'm also a professor, uh, I think about these things and having a Porsche, which I just like because they're great cars, um, I put the two together and I started to realize something's going on here. Now this makes sense because um, you know the, the tradition of the, the Porsche design comes from the Bauhaus in Germany, but um, Bauhaus design would have incorporated uh, the, the best designs, the uh, philosophies that have come up over time, all right? Without getting into the details about that. I have here a couple books here, by the way. This is uh, the Corbusier's uh, Towards a New Architecture, and it has a, a section in here about regulating lines and uh, as far as the golden section. So even forms like the buildings in the past, like in Greece, they have the, the Parthenon, is based on the golden proportion. What is the golden proportion? I have a little illustration here of, of what it is. Basically, um, the easiest way I find to use the golden proportions, I've used it on some of my projects, is that you take um, one side of, a, say, a rectangle, and you actually um, uh, multiply or divide, depending if you want to make it bigger or smaller, times a certain number. Now, this number has been uh, developed over time. It is uh, 1.618 for going larger, so if you have a number and you want to make it uh, the other side larger, so this is a rectangle, you have one side, another side, you multiply it times 1.618. If you want to make it smaller, you go 0.618, and anything fractional, point under 100 will make a number smaller, you know, this is the basic stuff. So basically, um, these two numbers are important. I always use the 0.618, so it's easier for me to um, use it smaller. And I'll show you right here, you can actually see Golden Section. This is a design book that I use sometimes in my classes, Architecture, Form, Space, and Order, from Francis Ching, and D. Grad, and uh, one of the authorities in, in the design world. So 0 0.618 here, but if you notice, there's a rectangle. Now, why do I spend my time when I'm talking about Porsches, okay? Uh, essentially what happens is I found in the 944, which I have sitting right here, um, there's a couple items that are based on the Golden Section, and not just based on it, but pretty obvious. Um, and when this came to mind, I grabbed my uh, tape measure and started going around the car and measuring things. One of the first things I thought about was the actual sunroof. Why is this rectangular shape the way that it is? I've always thought it should be a little bit bigger or maybe not so wide, wouldn't be so heavy. Why did it have... So I measured it and sure enough, when I went across this way, it measures 39 inches. So let's do this right now and I'll do it right in front of you. If I were to go, golden ratio, remember 0 0.618, so 39 times 0.618, what's the number? 24. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and measure the sunroof. You can do this on your own if you have a sunroof. It's 24 inches. Perfect. 24 inches. So I started going around the car and seeing if this theory holds true that they're actually basing um, on the golden section. Now, uh, I saw somebody mention this golden section is kind of like the thumbprint of, of God. It's like the universal higher order of design that is used. Um, like I said, I've used it in, in, it's used throughout architecture, throughout history. I've used it in some of my projects as well. What else? The side mirrors, okay? Now I measure the side mirror, 7.2, take, um, Seven times 0 0.618, 4.3. When I measure the vertical height of the side mirror, it comes out to four point something. It's like four point four and three eighths. Seven point two, seven and a quarter, and it's perfect golden ratio. So those mirrors you have on your 911s and Porsches 924s 
are based on the golden ratio. I should write that up there. That's what it's called. Is it obvious I'm a professor? Okay, so I like these kind of things. Um, essentially, the tail lights on 944, which are essentially uh, five inches, the little individual squares are five inches times 0.618 comes out to 3.08, and that's what they are in vertical height. So there's an example of the golden ratio. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and also on the side glass. So the side glass has sort of a, a shape that comes down like that and back, but if I were designing it, I would probably cut it off somewhere back here to kind of average out the two. If you flip this over, you'd have about the same space. But sure enough, when I measured the distance here, and the distance here for the height of that, it came out to the golden ratio, okay? Um, throughout the car, I didn't go through, you know, every little, I think somebody had done this somewhere online. The Porsche badge itself has some golden ratio. The length and width is pretty close. Then there's some individual places inside the individual dividers are sort of on the, um, somehow somebody did that. You can look that one up yourself. I didn't spend much time on that one, okay? So, high design. Why do we like Porsches? Well, I think part of it is because they took the extra effort to do something a little above and beyond. I mean, I teach this stuff in my classes. I had professors who taught me this because they were taught it. Uh, you know, Ching and Le Corbusier at the top in architecture. And usually when you're trying for like the best instead of just average design, you get into these sort of thoughts and ideas and, and reasons why we do things. Porsche did it, all right? Um, other than that, I think that's gonna be it. I do have, I'm gonna show you on the car if I can grab my phone real quick. Yeah, I know we're kinda on the fly, but I don't have time to do anything else like this. So anyway, here's the, the measurements right here, 3924, 1.618, just to tell you, yeah, relatively. Let's go across here. 39, what do we got here, get in there, 24 for the width, I say on this one, 7, 7, that's the height, 4 something, which is what the golden proportion is, so that is very much the golden rectangle, go back over here, a little hard to see as I don't have my Let's see if I can get a better shot here. Anyway, it does start right here. Ends at five. And the vertical divider is, where is it at? Three, it's a little dark, apologize for that. Um, I looked around and didn't, I don't know, this could be here, that little part. It's one of those things, when, I've been at the design table, I know how it works. You kind of have the time to sort of come up with your base design and then go over everything. I also check the hood, it's more like a square. This looks a bit like a rectangle, but it actually is more like a square. Um, but those are also design elements. In fact, there's one, what he's talking about here is called regulating lines. Regulating lines is sort of horizontal lines that continue down the car, and it gives sort of an order or a guidance to the car. But I'm focused on the golden ratio right now, and this is what I came up with. So I found that kind of interesting. Sunroof, taillights, rear view mirrors, and even the glass. I noticed that you know, if you go from top to bottom and basically divide it, you know, this is kind of, from a design standpoint, insignificant. So the actual rectangle would be about right here, and it works out for the golden re rectangle as well. All right, so that's gonna do it for today. This is Tim Shorgassi Bros, Porsche Pros out here in the garage with another uh, little insight into the world of Porsches. Thanks for watching.